Good evening, I'm meteorologist Carly Gomez. It's that time of year once again where we start getting those lyrid meteor showers, ones you can pretty much depend on every single year. This one sent in by Mike Hankey, AMS All Sky 7 Network, but you can just take a look. It kind of just floating through right there. You saw one and there's another one that shoots across the sky there and then one more right about there at the top of your screen. But these are some of the things you can look for as we move on toward the end of the month. And that is because it is prime time to see the Lyrid meteor showers off of Lyra there. And that is that constellation. Now, this is the area of the sky toward the northeast. And the best viewing and the peak time to see this will be Saturday night into Sunday. We should see some of the peak amounts of meteor showers pushing through. So get ready for that. Great viewing conditions as well as we do expect some mostly clear skies and some pretty warm weather this weekend. Now, as we look at the Lyrid meteor shower, now this does happen every April and it's really just a lot of space debris that's coming off the comet Thatcher named after Alfred E. Thatcher who discovered it in 1861, but that's not when it was created at all. I mean, these things are very old, but the first recorded viewing is coming in as early as 2700 years ago by ancient Chinese who have some recordings of seeing it around this time of year. So it's pretty interesting to see how far back some of the astrological and astronomical things that happen in our space and through history as we continue to see these lyric meteor showers. All right, let's talk about what we can expect. Now, the best viewing, again, like I mentioned, is going to be around the 21st to 22nd, so over the weekend. But you're really viewing it from April 15th through the 29th. The best time, though, to see really almost any meteor shower, of course, is when it's the darkest. But we are in a new moon phase, so this is what makes it peak here for us, is that it almost appears as there's no moon in the sky at all. The new moon phase, a really not even a crescent shape at that point. You could even see some good viewing into early morning Friday and then early Saturday morning. That's not really a good option around the California or Northern California region just due to the fact that we are starting to see some clouds rolling in early in the morning. But Saturday night to Sunday early morning, we are seeing some clearing happening there. So it is visible, obviously, as you saw with the naked eye there. We do see about 10 to 15 per hour, but there could be as many as about 18 to 20 when we start seeing this peak because it's so dark out there. But there have been reports of as many as about 100 in an hour. So pretty cool stuff out there. Of course, visibility will be very good. You can catch this out of the Northeast. Make sure that you are at least letting your eyes adjust to see these for about 30 minutes. Try to stay as far away from light pollution like city lights and get out there and enjoy the night and those meteor showers.